Key to life number 56. What nurturing traits do you do well? Hello and welcome to How to Love for these weekly instructions and you will soon be on your way to manifesting deep and meaningful love into your life. Now we want to look at what we've done well in the past. I want you to write down what you did specifically to nurture that relationship. But we have to do that without resentments, like I supported him when we went to the workshop, the idiot. It cannot be like that. Nurturing is a choice. Whether the relationship worked or not, it's not important. I just want you to see in the physical world what you have done well. There are too few places where we get a chance to do exercises like this, where we get to look at what we did well, even though the relationship did not work. Hi, I'm Selena Stone, a Master Life Coach, and I will be presenting to you each week with a new key that opens a door to love. These wisdoms and teachings that I'm sharing with you were passed on to me by my mentor and teacher, David Essel, who has over 30 years experience and a high success rate amongst his clients. So, between now and our next session, I want you to go deep and really look at this question. And every day for the next seven days following these three steps, this is what I want you to do. Step one, write down this question and think about it. What nurturing traits do you do well? We all do certain nurturing traits really well. Now, I want you to do this as an exercise. It's another pattern writing. I want you to rewrite the names of your past lovers, even in the relationship, and write down what you did well in these relationships regarding nurturing. No matter how terrible the relationship was or how great, what did you do well in regards to nurturing? How specifically did you nurture the relationships? How did you care for them and follow their wishes so long as it was not damaging? Even though they may not have been your wishes, that would be a nurturing move. But we want to look at our successes as we are moving forward and we are setting ourselves up for the ability to create, to manifest, nurture and deepen a great love relationship. Step two, visualisation. Write the scenarios, the feelings it brings to mind, the triggers, the memories of the past, then fast forward and jump into the future. What do you see? Describe the pictures you're seeing, just write them all down. Opening our arms, being silent, being patient, taking risk, all of these things are forms and signs of nurturing. What nurturing traits do you do well? Use the pattern writing technique to find out about what nurturing traits you do well. Start by writing down the names of past lovers and have you specifically nurtured these relationships in a really good way. We want to get to what we were doing well so we can keep doing that. Sometimes when we want to deepen a love relationship, we're going to look back at two, four, six, eight, twenty 20 people that we dated and say, yes, with these people, there were some good times. I did some good things to help nurture. There were some awesome things I did to nurture and we want to bring these forward. Step three, repetition, write and rewrite your answers. Look at this question every day over the next week. What does this statement mean to you? What is its meaning in your life? What did we do well in regards to nurturing? Only even if the relationship did not work and if you're in a current relationship, you want to write down all the things you've done well in the things you've done well in regards to nurturing your current relationship. Even if the other person does not appreciate it, that does not matter. It's not about being right or having the world say, oh my God, you're the most nurturing person I've ever met. That's not the point. Get as detailed as possible. And at the end of today's lesson, I'm going to give you the time to really jump on this. The best time to start on the homework assignment is right after the lesson, to start it right away. Then go over the question every day and rewrite if necessary. If you have completed them, then reread them so your answers sink in, so they become integrated between the mind and the body. The point is for you to see your power, and when you see your power, You'll be able to multiply that, but too often people will go through life and not slow down enough to see what their great traits are. And if you do not have a great relationship right now, to be right, you could be right on the cusp of being an amazing lover and friend and partner from the traits you already have. Maybe you have not put it all together. And that's the purpose of this course. With this work, we are going to put it all together. 
Well, that's all we have time for today. I look forward to your tuning in again next week. In the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when the next session is aired. Together, we can stay on track to creating a deep and meaningful love into your life. And that's the reason that I'm here. And if you feel you'd like me to personally coach, inspire and motivate, then please feel free to contact me via my website, selinastone.com. Until next time, be lucky.